mummy maker. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this simple and easy baby carrier or baby papoose um, in less than 20 minutes. The first step is to draw your pattern. You can either download a pattern off of the internet or like me, I just traced my own. I essentially worked on a sort of frog-like shape, uh, traced around it so it looked like this. If you'd like a downloadable copy of my template, please leave a comment down below with your email address or email me for a copy at mummymaker.au at gmail.com. To double check that it's the right size, simply get your little one to hold it up to their chest. To make sure that my pattern is symmetrical, I then like to fold my pattern in half and then draw the fold line and when I'm cutting it out, cut it out against a fold line on the grain. You can see here using material number one, I then fold that in half and place my pattern on the fold side of my folded material pin it down and then cut it out. You'll then want to repeat this process and cut out an identical piece using material number two, using your pattern. We used a nursery cotton um, for the inside just to give that sort of warm um, replica of a baby papoose. You'll then want to use the bottom half of your pattern shown here uh, to cut out another two pieces of your fabric, one with the flower or material one and one with the soft cotton. The last two pieces that you want to cut out are two long strips. Again, these need to be folded over, so each strip should probably be about three to four inches uh, and about 40 to 50 centimetres long, depending on the height of your little one. Repeat this so that you have two strips. So just to recap on what you'll need to cut out from your pattern, you'll need two of these frog shaped pieces, one in your top material and one in the sort of fluffy material. You'll also need two pieces which is essentially the bottom half of your template uh, as shown here. Again one in your colour material and one in your softer cotton material. And then you'll need two long pieces of about four inches wide and sort of 40 or so centimetres long depending on the height of your little one. We used 40 centimetres and Chelsea is nearly three. Taking your two frog shaped um, pieces of material, you want to put the right sides together and then pin all the way around. Once you've pinned all the way around, you'll want to then take that and sew about one centimetre in the whole way around and leave a small sort of one inch gap down the bottom. sewn all the way around leaving your small one inch gap you will use this gap to then turn your material inside out so that the correct side of the material is facing out repeat this same process for the smaller two pieces of material step is to place your two pieces together. Place them right sides together so you can see here the two flower sides which is the outside of our baby carrier. Pin the bottom part together. This connects the front of your baby carrier to the back part of the baby carrier and essentially becomes the seat that secures your baby into the carrier. You then want to flatten this out and iron it down paying particular attention to neatly ironing the edge of your baby carrier. You'll also want to prepare to close in your open areas of your material. To do this, fold both pieces 
in amongst each other and iron it down flat to make sure that it's neatly aligned and then pin it down. Once this is neatly folded over, top stitch all the way around your pouce, uh, probably again about one centimetre in. two long strips and sew all the way down to essentially make a tube. Turn your pieces the right way round so that the correct side of the material is now facing out and turn in each of the edges and sew them down. This really just neatens it off and stops fraying. Then iron these two long pieces down so they're nice and flat. The next part was really my favourite as we got to connect the baby carrier all together. To do this you want to attach the strips, the two strips, to the left and right hand side of your baby carrier. So essentially the part that would go around the baby's hips. sew these on. The final step is to join all of your parts together. You could do this using velcro, buttons or we decided to use press studs. The first one you want to connect is the right hand side of the waist. Pull it round and flip it to the top left hand side of the papoose. We made a hole and then put in our press studs. Take the left hand side of the waist strap and bring it around to be on the top right hand side and again press stud that together. The final step is to connect the two side pieces together. So to create somewhat like a nappy effect, um, place the two sides bits together and then put in a press stud on both sides. Repeat this for the other side. And that's the last step. You have your fabulous, easy DIY kids baby papoose. All to be done in under 20 minutes. Pop it onto your little one and then let them carry their little baby to their hearts to life.